Hi everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different software and on different topics related to civil engineering field. So, what are we going to learn today? Today, we are going to learn how to make interior of a living room in SketchUp. So, let's get started. So this is the interior that we are going to create in today's video. To start, first of all, we will have to create a slab around which we can create the whole room. Okay, then we have to draw the 10 inch walls and after that we can go for the door opening. Okay, so for that you can just take the reference of uh, the tape measure tool and using these guidelines you can uh, draw the wall opening for the windows and the doors. So, our door has already been done and now it's time to make the window. Now we will start working on the interior. For that we will just pull the wall for 4 inches. Then we will just go in the warehouse and there we will just look for the different interiors so that we can just import that easily in our model. Okay, so here I have downloaded the TV model unit and then I am just going to scale it and then I will change it according to my need. So once you import anything from the warehouse you can simply change each and every component. Okay so I am just going to modify the components according to my need and for that I am just providing a texture on the wall. After that I will just start changing the wood material. Then we have to go for the different textures of the wood and you can also scale these textures and then you can just start modifying each and every cupboard that is there. Now this TV unit is enough but what you need else you also need a TV over here. So let's try to fill the light colors over here so that this TV unit looks better. Then we can go ahead in the uh, warehouse and from there we can simply import the TV. Okay. So here I have placed my TV and now I am just going to save each and everything in the model in a particular folder. So in future if I am going to need anything then I will not simply go ahead and import it from the warehouse but I can just pick it from the saved files and folders. Okay, so if you are working smartly then it will save a lot of your time. So I have downloaded the launch over here and now I have to position it perfectly in the front of TV. Okay, now what is the next thing that we need? Next thing that we need is a table. Now, you can see the TV unit is present, our launch is present, TV is present, then our table is much needed. So, we are going to just import that. So, uh, SketchUp allows you to work with each and everything. Like you can also model the table, chair, launch and each and every component that I am downloading over here. But if you have less time and you have to just submit your project to your client then you can simply start importing the materials from the warehouse because warehouse has a lot of materials that are already prepared by the other architects over there okay now what you need to do you need to simply select the accurate material for your model and then you will have to import it to the SketchUp then you can just scale it and if you don't like the textures then you can also uh, just uh, change the textures of that. Now here you can see the chair has also been imported. Now if I want then I can also change the fabric of the chair but for now I am not going to do that. I will simply start with the placing of mat. Okay now you can see the mat has been downloaded but if I will not like it then I can also go for a different mat. So what you need to do you need to just keep excluding the warehouse and you can simply download each and everything and place it at the exact distance. Okay now I will try different colors on the walls and finally when I am satisfied with the colors then I can go for the curtains for my window. Okay so you can see I have a window in this particular room and while working on the interior there is one thing that you must keep in mind and what is that you don't have to go for the interior of the whole building because practically uh, the people or you can say your clients will not go for the interior of each and every building component 
they will just go for either drawing room, living room or a particular bedroom or if someone is uh, rich then he can also go for the modular kitchen so they can do all these things but most of the clients will ask you for either one or uh, two room in which they want to do the interior work okay the rest uh, they can take the reference and uh, they can simply start working with it why so because the charges of making an interior is a lot greater than the charges of making an exterior so you can see here our exterior oh sorry the interior is almost ready now i have to just change the color and see what are the different things that are left over here so i have to just import a door and fix it over here in order to finalize it okay so okay there's one more thing that i can do over here i can uh, like uh, set some lights over here so i can just uh, quickly go for uh, the lights and for that i am looking for the pendant light and i will simply import it in my model itself and then i will simply place it at the right place okay so i'm just going to download the pendant light and you will see how i am going to place it so first of all i need to select the pendant light okay now uh, yeah uh, sorry it hanged for a while but now it is good okay so you have to simply place the pendant light at the accurate position and you can see these two pendant lights have the different uh, sizes so you can just go for the copy of the pendant lights if you don't want uh, pendants of different sizes so i have just hidden the slab and then i have placed the pendant lights okay so this way you can just uh, use some tricks so that your work can be easy okay till then if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel and if you want to learn the whole thing in professional guidance then you can simply find a link in the description and all you have to do is to just fill the google form you can find the link in the description click on that and this form will open up and you have to just fill your details over here and i will personally give you a call and i will tell you how you can join our courses till then take care bye bye